last time on the Swan Song. Jacques and Gilles had a wedding party in the park. Things got wild. Hannah met Hilaria, who just returned having gone once or even twice around the world chasing ferns. Heschel confronted Sidvan. Tante and her crew reminisced about times when the park belonged to the public and public officials stayed out of their hair. Patience and Diana remembered the times when a small local gallery could survive and artists helped each other. At 10, Toto shut the party down. The next morning at Tante's bar, Tante discovered new rules and regulations decreed by City Hall. She could not afford renovations, while developers threatened to buy her out. Florian recruited Heschel's legal skills to save Tante's bar. Heschel recruited Hannah's editing skills to sift through a centuries worth of paperwork. Tante is still angry at the gallery across the street, but maybe Heschel and Hannah's help will soften her rage. A location scout dropped by looking for authentic views, but the regulars chased him out, where he met Melanie, who found him super cool. Heschel still wants Sylvan, Sylvan still wants to be free. Hannah met Hilaria again, who traveled the world only to find her heart across the street. But their timing wasn't right. This time on the Swan Song. A street theater event is coming to town with city and corporate support. Jacques and Gilles already said yes. The gallery must decide if they are in or out. Will Patience and Diana be able to pay next month's rent if they say no? Will they let Hobbes and the Artist Association exhibit? Or will Melanie take that spot? Diana tries to get Hannah to turn a new page. Hannah feels she needs a change. Can she and Heschel end their marriage on convenience and still be friends? Will she start a new life? Will Hannah and Hilaria finally get their timing right? It is the morning after the bar scene. Patients Diana and Hannah are having their morning coffee, as they do every morning. The gallery has just taken down the last exhibition. The room is empty except for one or two small tables, some chairs, a computer and a phone. There is a small kitchen at the back and simple lighting. There is one door, stage right, and some high windows. Time, morning. She's gone. The airport was packed. But we 
we made our flight on time. She's on her way to Tokyo for another exhibition. It was great for the gallery. That kind of work is exactly what we need more of. This new generation, they're completely different than we were. They advertise, and I bet they even job. We relied on flyers and cheap wine, and there used to be so many more of us. Uh-huh. It's a good thing I have the design work, though. It keeps this place open. But these young artists, they seem so capable, so driven. They really know what they want, and what they want is to sell. Did we know? Maybe we were just naive? You never left your bed before 10 a.m. That was naive. That was all the late nights and squat bars. I'd love a cup, Diane. I used to love this city for its idleness and its ideology. But none of that seems to matter now. Have you finished those invoices for the Artists Association? I want to talk to you about Hobbes' proposal before I leave for Edie's appointment with the doctor. Now we are more concerned with organic mushrooms and sustainable living. But are we really living? Armies of cultural workers who never even heard of a union. Self-exploitation has become a badge of honor. What about exploiting them? Patience. How about exploiting the countryside for a few days? Forget the cultural armies. Leave the city behind. You never want to leave town, Hannah. What's got into you this morning? Maybe I feel like a change. For a change. Change? I believe in change. But you? The manifesto, the artist's movement. Art is a refuge from the system, a means of critique. That must have been exciting. I don't think I ever felt like that. I started working right out of school, then Heschel, and well, you know the rest. Well, darling. We're nearly 10 years older than you, but you still have time to start a revolution. I don't want to start a revolution. I just want to figure out what I should do. Do? No offense, Anna. Maybe you have too many options. So, what if things don't always work out? I'm proud to say that I've been committed to collaboration for the last 20 years. That's right. You collaborate your way into running your own gallery. <laughs> I suppose that you moved into my flat because you didn't like the wallpaper in your communal house? Or was it that you finally realized that the commune didn't put your child first? At least I still have friends from the old days, even if I did leave the wallpaper behind. Ladies, let's have a biscuit. Don't be so squeamish, Hannah. Arguing with old friends is one of life's greatest pleasures. And it's cheaper than therapy.
Tragedies. The street theater event. Yes, I've thought about it. No, I'm not sure yet. I know, sales, publicity. The city will give how much of a tax break? Well, how about an arts budget for independents like us? How about some rent relaxation? How about cheaper insurance for small businesses? Yes, I know. The city has our interests in mind. Times have changed. New ideas. The street theater event. Of course I'm considering it. All right, Toto. See you at the council meeting next week. So, do you have anything planned yet for the street theater thing? Well, we've been talking to Hobbs and the Artists Association for a while. Not them again. I thought we agreed that we need new voices, new energy. You promised you'd talk to him. He's an old friend and a good painter, too. I thought Melanie was going to get her paws all over that. It looks like she's planning something, and I'm letting her think she can. Maybe you should stop encouraging her. Maybe she has exactly what we need. What's Hobbes' proposal anyway? Oil paint as a critique of television. It's as outdated as it sounds. Plus, the Artists' Association doesn't need our help. Young artists still do. I'm not worried about young artists. Hmm. Oh, Di, have you seen this morning's community blog? You've been crowned. Madonna of the local art scene. Ew. Meaningless gossip. We have other fish to fry. We have to talk about the future of this place. Paying the rent, for example. How about this evening? We can discuss the street theater events and ask Heschel to come too. What do you say, Helen? Funding big events rather than real art. The city never understood what we need. What's this cuss anyway? Sure. Heschel can help us figure out the For the Futures gallery. And then we can plan our weekend. I'll bring a bottle of rosé for the meeting. He won't refuse a good problem to solve and a good bottle to drink. Great. We'll plan for the future and then have a weekend to rest. And Heschel and I can talk about our own future. I think I need to take more action in my life. Stop thinking. That's what I'll say. Oh, it'll be perfect. We'll drink red wine under the stars and write in the garden. And I'll talk to Heschel. And he'll know exactly what we should do. Yes. Returning to the basics. Good country food and cut flowers in vases. We'll have all the peace and quiet and privacy we never get here. Sure, let's forget our woes and exchange them for hornets and mice. Yes, leave all our troubles behind. Oh, patience, can't you see how a few days could be? Let's forget all of our work and enjoy the natural world. Pack your things. And let's alight, grab Diana, leave tonight. The farmhouse in the village, in the country, in the grass, for some peace and for some quiet, making jam and wearing hats. In the wheat fields, in the orchards, think of swimming, think of reeds, for some peace and for some quiet. Children, call up Heschel 
Yeah.